Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Holy FaceTime. Uh, today is August 30th, and we're cele celebrating Our Lady of Carquer, Our Lady of Carquer, Portugal. According to tradition, Our Lady of Carquer on the River Aduro in Portugal is associated with the miraculous healing of Prince Alfonso Enriquez, who was to become the first king of Portugal. Prince Alfonso Enriquez had been born a cripple and paralyzed from the knees down. The knight, Igaz de Monet, was chosen to be the governor of Prince Alfonso, as at the time children of nobility were given personal tutors to educate and accompany the, ch the child throughout their lives. Mani, himself from one of the most prominent families of the region, was also a man of faith and had a great deal of pity for the young prince. He prayed fervently for his charge, seeking the intercession of the Blessed Virgin and the boys, that the boy's legs might be straightened through her intercession. His prayers were answered and his holy intention perfectly, perfectly fulfilled. One night in about the year 1113, when the prince was four years old, Iga de Monet put him to bed and fell asleep himself. Our Lady appeared, wakened the governor, asking, Are you asleep? And the governor replied, Lady, who are you? She said, I am the Virgin Mary, she replied, and commanded the governor to go to a particular place in the hills above the Duro River that she had indicated to him. There, dig, and you will find a church that in another time was started in my name. You will also find an image of me. Thou shalt place the child overnight on the altar, and he will be cured and made well, because my son wants him to destroy many enemies of the faith. The governor, comforted and joyful after the apparition, was a man who truly loved his Lord, trusting in God, whom he knew could give the boy strength and vigor. The knight sought out the ruined chapel and found it, and the small stone image, just as the Blessed Virgin had said. Later, when, when everything was ready, accompanied by the queen and her entourage, he carried the young prince to the ancient chapel, intending to place him on the altar to spend the night with him in vigil. Instead, after entering the chapel, the entire entourage fell into a mysterious sleep, except the prince, who remained wide awake the boy sat for a time and watched the candles on the altar burning, and at one point observed that one of them was leaning dangerously. Finally, it fell over and started a fire. Prince Alfonso was unable to awaken his mother or his governor, and so he climbed up on the altar and put out the fire himself. It was then that he realized he had been cured and began jumping for sheer joy. When he awakened the whole entourage who gave thanks to Our Lady for the mirac miraculous healing she had granted. Now the knight Igas Monet gave praises to God and his blessed mother for he would be able to train the prince to ride and use arms so that he might become a great warrior as God desired. He had a new church built there which became famous at the location of the miracle of Carquar. The miraculous statue of Our Lady of Carquar is carved in ivory and is only 29 millimeters tall and is assumed to date from the time of the Visigoths. The sculpture depicts the Blessed Mother with the Divine Child sitting on her knee. The child holds a book in his left hand and gives his blessing with his right. Perhaps the precious, precious statue was worn by a Catholic warrior and lost in a battle against the Moors, or was hidden during the time of the Muslim invasion of the Iberian Peninsula to protect it from desecration. The Church of Our Lady of Carquar, or Santa Maria de Carquar, can still be visited in Spain. Our Lady of Carquar, pray for us. Well, thank you again for this episode of joining us with this in this episode of Holy FaceTime. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning more about Our Lady and how she intercedes for us. Man, I'm always uh, amazed at the ways Our Lady has interceded for mankind throughout history. 
And uh, I never get tired of listening to these miraculous healings of people and uh, throughout the ages. So until next time, God bless you all. Blessed be the adorable face of our Lord Jesus. And blessed be his holy name. Bye now.